the show last two seasons. And then you have Muff, a new starter in the front row, getting time, five days of training will do a lot because Muff is definitely a gamer. Emily Kaman will serve it and we are underway. Florida has a lot of weapons. Auburn's defense will have to be active and solid and that lands out. One thing, Lynn, about playing a top-ranked team is you're going to have to take care of the ball because they will make you pay. So right now, you have a Florida team. So solid on defense. It's going to be interesting to see how Auburn can get through this block. Kanan out of Allen, Texas, serving again. And she misses it. We are even early at one apiece. By the way, did you see my good hands receiving that ball that bounced out? I mean, the one-handed catch. I mean, if I didn't know better, I would think you're the Libro out there with your different <laughs> color shirt on. <laughs> Auburn at the service line for the first time. You know, virtually no injuries for Auburn last year. It was a pretty clean roster. Already they've had several here in the early part of the season. A lot of people say it's freshmen getting older. So last year, Auburn loaded with a solid freshman squad. Everyone stayed healthy, upsetting Creighton in the first round of the NCAA tournament. And now older and wiser, and yes, your bodies break down just a little bit. But it's glad to see players like Morton back in the lineup. Bell Zimmerman, a sophomore. Hits the jump serve. Oh, that was a dandy. Excellent work defensively by Kanan. And the tip shot falls in front of McKissick. Well done by Auburn on a long rally. You have Bella Bell that will make a defense work. You saw her first hit going cross court. This one is the scouted shot, recognizing where the defender was sitting deep down the line. Bella Bell coming up with a tip kill. Three to one early, Auburn in the first set. And that sinking serve sails wide. Each team has an early service error. And Lynn, you'll see that early in the match for Auburn especially, taking risks, going hard because they know this Florida team can pass dimes. Indeed. Gabrielle Essex, a 6'3 junior from Hoover, Alabama, and she misses. Hoover, Alabama, I bet she's got some local fans back here. I heard I, some yelling and screaming I for bet her. You, I bet she does. Less than two hours up the road. Yeah, not too bad. Zoe Slaughter serving. That's blocked out of bounds, Point Florida. One of the best passers in the game is Ellie McKissick, the libero for Florida, can stick dimes. It makes it look easy when you can get an easy pass set and then delivery kill by Kennedy Martin. And here's Kennedy Martin, the 6'6 freshman from Fort Mill, South Carolina. She is so versatile and she's had a huge impact in her rookie season. I got this one. Well done. <laughs> I didn't call mine though. I might get yelled at by a coach. Well, you you needed to, to, to grab it and hold on to it. <laughs> Play it out of bounds. Yeah. Yes. Nice serve down the line. This is the passing game. They edited you out. I was waiting for the replay of my attack. There's part of the power game for Auburn. That's Akasha Anderson. When she gets heated up, she can make things happen in a hurry. And you'll see that match up throughout the match. We have 6-3 Anderson going against 5-11, Muff as the setter. That's going to be a matchup Auburn's going to attack. An ace. That's what you got to do, Lynn. You, you're in your home court. You're comfortable. Go ahead and take those rips. Get into your rhythm and go for it. Anderson will go for it again. Too much heat from Florida from the left pin. You'll see early on the shots and attacks by certain players are scouted. So Fitzpatrick knew that the defense for Auburn was setting up on her hard angle. So she decided, you know what, I'm going to test the shot that I watched when we were watching video to the deep corner to get that kill. 
And it worked nicely. Here's Trinity Adams out of Radford, Virginia at the service line. We've got a one-point game in the first set. Auburn leading by that margin. And now by two. Fantastic spread, and it all started with an Auburn pass on the dime right to Jackie Barrett to reverse that ball back to Swanson. Here's Sarah Morton. You talked about her returning to the lineup. It's nice to see her back. Morton not only plays a good defensive role, but she sticks serve receive passes. Although she missed that one long, we're just looking forward to a serve receive pass coming at you because when she passes, Jackie Bear is normally right at the net. She has recovered from a shoulder injury. This is McKissick from Windermere, Florida, wearing the libero jersey. That misses. Anderson knew she was going to hit sharp on that line against McKissick. Trying to get that back row attack with a little more top spin, but you saw how tight it was going to the line because if it's anywhere inside, McKissick's gonna, going to come up with the dig. An overpass, and usually you're in trouble when you do that. Florida takes advantage. Going up strong on that overpass. Getting that attempt, good job, Essex. Eight, seven, Florida. The range of the early part of this set has been very, very tight. And back even we go. That was a second attempt swing by Madison Shear. The first one, she saw her setter Muck jump in on the seam. So her second shot, she said, I remember that, so let me go ahead and work it line because the blocker will probably jump in seam again. So smart. Barrett with the back set. Look at the hustle on both sides. This is what this crowd came for. What a point. The scramble and extra effort. Trinity Adams making a one hand save that you get to dance on that. That was a sweet tip back row shot by Kennedy Martin. Wasn't it ever. Sophia Victoria will put it in play out of Puerto Rico. And she misses long. Playing in a new gym, the energy, you have SEC play. Expect service errors to happen early and often throughout the match, but they'll settle right in as they get the game going. Both of these teams in their pre-match warm-up had the radar guns going for the, uh, the servers. And, you know, ideally you want to be 40, 41, 42 pretty consistently. That's a, that's a serve with some heat on it. That is a serve with some heat, and if you can do that consistently, you're going to cause a little chaos with that ser the serve receive pass. This one, for example, good serve, a pass that was slightly over the net. Auburn went up on the block. They get the point with the back row setter. Back and forth we go, Auburn, by one first set against Florida. Overpass, and that's what happens. That was an excellent serve. The kill came from the middle, but it was all set up by a wonderful sinking serve. With an overpass, Chelsea Harmon getting the start. Kendall Kemp is missing, but right here, Kenneth going up strong is Harmon with the put away kill. Feeball puts it in play off the top of the net. And Auburn has its biggest lead in the first set. It's a 12 9 advantage right now. One thing that Auburn is doing a great job, they're taking risks on the service line, going strong. You can see the connection. When you're missing your starting setter for the last two years, the heart and soul of the team, you have Kennedy Muff just trying to get the rhythm going. Expect that to improve throughout the match. That is long. Auburn on a bit of a run now and has extended its margin to 13-9. The crowd is coming alive. 
Auburn playing well in the first set, leads 13. And we will take a look at Auburn's keys in just a moment. 13-9 in the first set, Auburn on its home court, out in front of Florida. And that serve hit halfway into the net, a service error. And taking Auburn for their keys, you have to slow down the Florida attack. We know that they can pass, but can you just slow them down? Chances are you're not going to stop all of these hitters, but you have to touch the ball at the block and then pass to play. If you can stick a pass, we all know Auburn has offensive threats, but you've got to get them going by sticking a pass at the net. That was tooled very nicely off of the defenders out of bounds. Sometimes you don't have to hit it over them. Sometimes you don't have to hit it between their hands. Sometimes you just glance it off the defender's hands. And watch, you watch this. Yeah, the set was about five feet off. Instead of going for the hard shot because the ball was slightly behind her, Fitzpatrick goes off the hands to get the tool. Ooh. <laughs> there is no defense for that. That's hammer time. We talked about all of these players ready for this moment, but the preparation in your national champion, a transfer from Kentucky, dominating, knows how to get her point is Bella Bell. Bella Bell has missed the last five matches. Auburn very eager to have her back and playing a lot. Good serve. Barrett sets it up. And finally, Auburn prevails. Lynn, what you saw with Jackie Barrett, she first went to the middle, so that meant the middle would hold. Went to the outside, you saw Kasha Anderson play the tool off the block to then leave your right side option. You have to mix up the offense. Nice job, Jackie Barrett, getting hitters involved. Bell Zimmerman serving again. That's well done from the pin. Not much defense for that. A.C. Fitzpatrick putting it down for Florida. The hardest high five after that from Muff to Fitzpatrick. That's the seam ball. Nice low set. That was the timing we're talking about as Florida plays with this lineup throughout the match. You're going to see the consistency going from Muff's hand out to Fitzpatrick. Keely, I want to develop the story because when you were playing 20 years ago at Georgia Tech at an All-America caliber and heralded as one of the best setters in the history of the college game, there is so much subtlety that goes on between setters and teammates. And setters are the quarterback. They are the motion person. And it's amazing to just watch away from the ball and see the setters and how it all comes together cohesively. That's right, and you, you see Muff walking around, you have to, you're the middleman, you're the link between all of your players, so you have to make sure everyone's on the same page. Of course, the offense is audible, it's ran through you, setting up the offensive plays, but in your brain, you have to work different options to make it not predictable so the block doesn't set up on the hitter you want to set to. How much freelancing is done among setters, changing opportunities as the play is continuing? It honestly depends how much freedom your coach gives you. So I was fortunate. I had a coach that gave me the green light. He saw that I could get the, I understood the game like chess, could audible mid-play. And you're seeing Coach Mary Wise on the sideline. She's not in Kennedy Muff's head, like on the sideline trying to call every play. She trusts what Muff can do, allows her to run that serve-receive. It's in the scouting report and just run her show. We'll take a look at the legendary Mary Wise in just a moment. Truly one of the best in the history of the game, if not the best. Another long rally. There's the back row attack, and it's long. Mary Wise, 1,000. 34 career wins and still humble on the sideline. Just incredible. And eight NCAA Final Four appearances, 25 SEC championships, 12, 13 undefeated seasons. The numbers just keep going. Mary Wise, one of the best to do it and continue to do it in college volleyball. She's such a pleasure to speak with. Very candid, very patient.
Auburn by four, first set, Auburn by five. Auburn just staying in the scramble. You got Madison Shear on the outside going with the seam ball. This is a good matchup for Auburn. You have Muff as the blocker, two dominant outsides. Jackie Barrett set it up early on by mixing up the offense to keep the middle away from the outside. 18-13, Auburn off to a good start in the first set against the Florida Gators. Promo. Auburn has lost 19 consecutive sets to Florida as part of the domination by the Gators. That streak is in jeopardy. This would be a major victory, even just pulling off one set. If they can pull off the match, that's what you live for as a player, that major upset against a top five team. Florida in blue. Auburn with a five point lead, serving for more. Anderson misses. Lynn, this is what you call a coach's timeout. So Mary Wise, Coach Wise, has called two timeouts. After those two timeouts, an Auburn player has missed their serve. So two points awarded to Coach Wise. Mary's last name is quite appropriate, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I would say so. That sails wide. Both teams have been troubled by some early service errors. Yeah, the service game, volleyball is a simple game. When we talk about keys of the game, every key starts with you have to pass, you have to serve, but you can't be weak with your serve. You really got to go for it when you play top teams. Auburn by five in the first set. Overpass, not a really good swing up front. Well done, Auburn defensively. The libero leaves her feet. That was Morton defensively. And finally, Florida prevails. Keep flailing away, something's good gonna happen. And a lot of times when you're trying to push the offense, the tempo, that one you saw a little chaos, but the chaos paid off because Auburn's defense was not able to set up. right into the big swing from Madison Shear. That'll put a pop knot on you. This is the beauty about playing. You recognize, okay, my blocker, Muff is dropping in, and so let me go ahead and beat the blocker to the seam and just take it straight to the floor. Maddie Shear with a kill. But another service error. Auburn giveth and taketh points, but leading by four in the first set against Florida, trying to break a long losing streak in sets against these Gators. Finally, the block up front by Florida. And I really think Florida was holding their breath until they rotated the 6 6 blocker, Kennedy Martin, just to take care of the outside hitter for Auburn. Kennedy Martin coming up with that major stuff block. Keeley, this is a big point for both teams. Florida's got a chance. It'll be thinking it's got a big chance if it gets this point. Auburn needs to break this run. And it does, an overhit. That sailed well long by Dixon. 21-17 Auburn. You could kind of feel this crowd knowing the importance of that point. Right, and like there is a chance. And you can feel the dynamics on the Florida side just trying to find the rhythm. That was the offensive top key of the game. But when you're missing your quarterback, you're, you're stucky. You're stucky. You're missing her. You get a little stucky. Indeed. Nice punch over the net there. Back set, blocked, saved, but out of bounds. 
at this point in the match, if you're a Gator, you just have to take over with talking and over talk. That was a major point coming up with that stuff block by Dixon. And Dixon will be serving a 6'3 graduate student from Lewisburg, Kansas, a transfer from Missouri. She had over a thousand kills at that SEC school. Point Auburn and a big one. That's what you call in free, uh, freebie in volleyball. When the balls are overpassed, the blocker just went up thinking a setter was going to tack it. And then right here, sneaking away with that point is Auburn. Chelsea Harmon serving, a senior. Wow. Nothing Barrett could do about that from the right pin. The pass that came off the arms of Fitzpatrick on the money. Watch how Muff doesn't have to move. Fitzpatrick was falling to the floor, but that gave the one-on-one -on -one situation for Martin to put that ball away. And put it away she did, the 6'6 freshman, leading all Division I freshmen in kills per set in the country. Swanson right there. Kyla Swanson with nice timing, right place, right time, right execution. Swanson all over that little miss set between setter hitter. Right there, Swanson taking over, dominating the net. Zoe Slaughter serving for the 24th point. Auburn leads by four in the first set. Trying to upset Florida. And this is a situation. You have one more rotation with Kennedy Martin. I'm going there if I get a pass if I'm muff. Almost an overpass. Barrett sets it up. And that's long. Florida gets the much needed point. Oh, wait a minute. There was a violation. So a touch off of the high hands. I mean, yep. the between a 6'3 and 6'6 blocker, it's hard not to touch the ball. Akasha Anderson taking that rip deep. Line judge calling that touch. Set point Auburn. This Great. crowd is on its feet. An historic moment perhaps unfolding for the Auburn Tigers. Breaking a long losing streak in sets and Florida holds off that point. On the previous serve received, that's the first option you gotta go. When you need a point, you need a kill, you know Kennedy Martin is going to come up and you saw Muff adjust, gave her two sets in a row for Martin to come up with that tip kill. And then looking at this front row rotation, you have Kennedy Muff in the front row against Akasha Anderson. Auburn only needs one more point. If they have three side outs, you know every ball is going outside to Anderson. Florida needs to score four straight points to keep this set alive. That ball is out, and Auburn has broken a 19-set losing streak with a 25-20 victory over Florida. History has been made. Everyone starts to click. You have to work together with Kennedy Muff. And Coach Wise is very wise and very calm on the sidelines, knowing, okay, it's going to take time, but you have to trust yourself. The best thing you can do right now as a setter, trust your pop, feel your hitters, just go with what you got. A net violation opens things in the second set. Point to Florida. You know, it's funny, the net was moving, but both lockers from Auburn came down and was like, was it you, was it me? Maybe yeah. it was like the front of their orange shirt that got it, but wasn't there on their body. McKissick, a four-time SEC Defensive Player of the Week in her career at the service line. And that finds the court, point Auburn. We are even early in the second set. We talked about the team performance, and you have Bella Bell really coming back from an ankle injury, stepping in on the right side, just has not left, lost a beat with her offensive play. 
Bell Zimmerman, a 6-2 pin hitter, a sophomore. Nice serve, sinking with velocity. Anderson kept alive by Thebault. Anderson again just rolls it over. Anderson up for the block. Swanson there as well. How about that? Swanson, an Illinois transfer, won a sweet 16 with her team. She lives for moments like this on the close when you know the attacker putting it down right now is Kennedy Martin. And you get a block, you walk, and you cheer right back at your team. Swanson giving up a couple of inches at six feet four. Two to one Auburn, early second set. Auburn won the first set. And we have had a lot of service errors early. Zimmerman is one of the strongest servers, which means she serves at a, a very fast pace. But if you miss hit it just slightly, that ball is going to take off. Here's Kennedy Martin. Two double doubles this year. She totaled 45 kills in her first two matches, the most in school history. Anderson. Really nice by Martin on the back row defensively, but the following heat took care of business. You can see the want to going up with Anderson on that third swing, saying, you know what, you're digging me, you're blocking me, but give me a third option, I'm going to take care of business. I'll tell you what, Anderson's got a look in her eye right now. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Kennedy Muff try to sneak it over. You know, Muff's got game, but if you don't, it's like get your pop out of your hands. It's got to hit fingertips, and if you carry it too much and you're slightly off the net, that ball will tape. It's like I'm visually trying to explain them like Keely. You have to tell it what's going on. That's well done. Just a little dink. Dixon finds an open spot. Auburn leads by one. And you saw the encouragement. Anna Dixon reaches back and says, Muff, we're right here. We got you. And you can see Muff taking a couple deep breaths. She knows the load she's carrying. Your team is third in the nation. You're missing your SEC freshman of the year as your starting setter. You know the, the pressure's on you, but you can see the teammates talking, saying, hey, we got you. We have your back. You love to see that camaraderie. Trinity Adams serving. We were told by some Florida folks before the match that this is one of the most close-knit, loving teams, if you will, for Florida. Everybody is really a teammate and a great classmate, and, and the camaraderie among this team is said to be very, very high for the Gators. And you can notice in body language and communication, so when players are at the block, that's the time you're talking on the bench, the time you're engaging with your teammates. <laughs> it's pretty obvious to tell when a player or a team is not happy, everyone just stays silent. Anderson, off the libero for the point. This is the ability Akasha Anderson has to take over the match. You're seeing swings like this, and if she's just getting started, guys, this is going to be a good match for Anderson. She's feeling it today. Anderson with that jump serve, hits it flat deep, and it sails a little bit long. If there's been any rust on Auburn in the first couple of sets, it's been too many missed serves. Sometimes it has, I think it has to do with the gun that the players can see their miles per hour. A lot of times that gets in your head as a player. Five apiece, second set. Anna Dixon will serve again. And boy, did she receive some fantastic praise from Mary Wise. Dixon, a right side hitter coming in, asking her coach, you know what, I feel like I could help in the middle. Go ahead, move me to the middle, even though I want to play professionally, and this not going to be in the position I'm going to play, but I think it's going to help my team. So Dix Dixon, a very unselfish player, stepping in on a roll. Dixon had three aces 
against Wisconsin. Well, let's look at this quote. One of the most selfless acts I've ever seen in all of my years of coaching. You're working from antenna to antenna, and yet you may not touch the ball through long rallies. For her to do that, to change positions, to do something she had not played since the seventh grade, to do that for the team when she was going to approach professionally, and she said she will never play middle again after she goes pro. And yet she's willing to do it in her final college campaign. Yeah, pretty impressive how selfless you can be as a player and then help lead your team to third in the nation. Dixon, your teammates love playing with you and we just love that leadership that you have. 7-6 Florida. Morton misses off the tape. <laughs> Come on. You're one of those things that there's a fine line. You got to risk it, right? Oh, yeah. So you're going against Florida, one of the best serve received teams in the nation. You've got to go hard. So I'm not blaming you for a miss serve. I let's keep going for your A serve. Eight service errors, though, for Auburn, twice as many as Florida. Boy, this is fun volleyball. This place is rocking. Students are here, townspeople are here, Auburn and Florida. Two nationally ranked teams, two of the four teams in the SEC with only one loss to this point as SEC play starts everywhere. Yeah, pretty amazing. When you can dominate the preseason in such a way that the SEC has, that's only going to set you up for a solid RPI to get a lot of teams into the tournament. 9-7 Auburn. This match is, uh, excuse me, Florida. This match is the biggest Gator lead of the match so far. And you see the Gators are doing a good job figuring out where Auburn wants to hit, setting up on the block, and the service game for Florida has been fairly consistent throughout the match. Have you seen any subtle changes in Florida in this second set? I think their service pass has improved. We've seen like one overpass, but as far as like sticking a pass and then block set up has been pretty nice. And then you got Bella Bell running the slide. You saw Chelsea Harmon do it on the previous attack. And then you have Bella Bell, a middle in her former years, going up. I can hit a slide, too. It's open, going with speed. Would it be okay if I said she rang the bell? Get it. Keep ringing it if you're an Auburn fan. This for the tie in the second set. Nice. Yes, it was. Right down the line. And there is no defense in the nation that can handle this. You saw the fast attack. That's a double quick attack. So you're going with a three, like a distance set with your middle and then right over it. You're setting your outside. You got all over it. Fitzpatrick going faster than the block could arrive. Anderson rolls it over, but can't get it down. She's up for the block. This is Anderson again, off the defender, out of bounds, point Auburn. Auburn just owning the net, I think defensively as well. Bella Bell coming off to pick that off blocker tip, but this Auburn squad loaded with height. They're not scared about how high this Florida block is as we watch that dig go long. Would you agree that over the last two, maybe three years, the difference in the Auburn roster has been the physicality of some of these new players that have been brought in. They're very strong, very large, and play hard. And there seems to be a higher level of physicality for Auburn than maybe four or five years ago. Coach Crouch knows what he has to recruit against. So you just saw 6'6", Kennedy Martin taking a swing. Coach Crouch has improved the height roster across the front row, knowing what SEC play is about. You have to beat people with power and also hang on the block height. Back and forth we go in the second set. Auburn won the first set. A lot of times when you play a team like Florida, top ranked in the nation, you get intimidated, but you don't feel that on the side of Auburn right now. They feel like they can, they believe that they can pull this off. There she is again, Akasha Anderson. That one was right in her wheelhouse, and she knew how to finish. 
emotionally, you feel like 10 pounds are off of you when you're the underdog when you play out there. So right now, Auburn's playing loose. You saw Anderson take care of the ball, but you just see how just physical they're playing right now. Loose, confident. That's a Florida point. And the Gators regain the lead at 12-11. If I'm Florida right now, you just have to keep encouraging Muff. You can see her game continue to grow. Great line shot turn on that by Dixon, showing the professional volleyball staff that's trying to recruit. She can do it middle or right. And you just can't stop that. That's a point from the time it leaves her hand. That's one heck of a play by the libero. And it pays off for Auburn. How about Morton's defense? Morton saving the play, going on the deep. Watch the vision. Good step in, and then the scramble to finish. Morton, great job. Glad you're healthy for this Auburn team because you're fun to watch. Keely, you know better than anybody. It's one thing to get your hands on the ball in a do or die situation like that. It's a total another thing to be able to control it and keep it in play in a place where your teammates can do something with it. And one thing you'll be so impressed with watching Morton is her read game along with McKissick, Libro for Florida. Their ability to read the game and flow is like they're already in the spot before the hitter attacks. That's just the vision and volleyball IQ recognizing the set and what the hitter's approach looks like. 25 points have been recorded in this second set. Auburn has 13 of them. A one-point lead. Anderson serving. That one off the top. That's the service. And service errors are now at nine for Auburn. Coach Crouch, I always watch him after a miss serve. He's just so calm. He doesn't want to show too much emotion because that's when you can get even more in a server's head. Just stay calm, fight it, and train it in practice. Auburn serves out, Florida comes back and does the same. Because that is exactly right, so Lynn, it's one point, right, a serve. So right. you miss a serve, but then you get emotionally in your player's head, let's say a coach that reacts or something. Then you tank your team for a couple more points, but right there, miss serve, miss serve, like nothing, no harm done. Morton putting it in play. That's Anderson on the back row. Shear with the swing for Auburn. Morton digs. That is long. I thought for a moment there might have been a defender for Auburn who touched it, but instead it's an Auburn point. This place is rocking. Second set, Auburn 15, Florida 13. Auburn won set number one. You add a little heat on that jump and fire. I love watching you play. I want one of those jumpsuits. Oh, I thought you, were, you said I want one of those jumps. I was like, I would love to jump like any of these players in my glory days. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a jumpsuit too. 15-13, Auburn by two over Florida after winning the first set. I think there's a rotation violation against Florida. That's unusual. And just a slight overlap. A lot of times if you play your outside hitter slightly behind on accident, just getting to your space of where you want to be, sometimes they'll call that overlap. Mary Wise has a grin on her face, but she wants an explanation. Oh, they're calling Kennedy Martin. And the back row attacker, she's currently opposite of the setter, so she should be... I think I'm, this might get replayed. I don't know. Nobody has used a challenge yet. And Florida still trying to make sure its lineup is legal. Sixteen thirteen Auburn. An overpass, Shear is there for the Tigers. 
You know, we can say that, sure, Stuckey is missing the setter. You have Kennedy Muff stepping in. But the passing game for Florida is definitely better than the performance that we're seeing right now. We're seeing the passing, a lot of overpasses, which is uncharacteristic to this Florida pass and defense. Well, speaking of stuck at Flagler, that's a Division II school. She's from Kenosha, Wisconsin. You know what her secret talent is? I had to dig deep for this. What do you got? Irish dancing. Ooh. That probably helps with setter footwork. Probably yeah. so. Get it. Auburn by four. Trying to go up two sets to none. Keeley, well done again. I'm not sure they'll get the replay on that, but Auburn's definitely happy that that ball was hit long. Thank you for keeping it from <laughs> smacking me in the face. Went with the open fist. You tool that away nicely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Pop. Another errant serve. That one hurts right now, but you're up by a lot. You have Kennedy Martin back in the front row. So this, these are good rotations for Florida. There you go. Watch it. Nice. Nonchalant. Like, very, <laughs> you very guys nice. chilling back here. Caught chilling, guys. <laughs> Sheer. What a play defensively <laughs> by Slaughter. Gators get the point eventually. Okamura with a straight down block. This is the game from Florida. You rely on your block, your passing, your defense. You got to shake it off. Maybe go with a little higher ball just to get your rhythm offensively. But block, solid. That's a big point for Auburn. It reestablishes the four-point lead, and it puts Auburn at 19. Harmon was the middle starter from last season, although you have Swanson and Kemp in the middle getting the playing time. You love to see that slot attack to open up the court for Auburn's offense with Harmon on the backside. That is off the libero deep. An ace for Auburn. I watch the eyes of Mary Wise as she takes her nose because you almost want to write down, this is not how we pass. Auburn really happy taking some good serves. When they put the serves on them, they're really causing that chaos with the serve receive for Florida. Jackie Barrett rolls it over the tape. <laughs> Hammer time! <laughs> From the right pin. It's Bella Bell. It was the finger hand safe set. Jackie Barrett saving that set, just going low enough. One of the best approaches in the game. Bella Bell with that seam kill going fast. 21-15. This is the biggest lead of the match for Auburn. And Florida's going to take a timeout. But he won't tell him, I bet. He'll be like, sure, you just, here, we got a great meal for you. There is a lot of volleyball to be played, and this Florida team is so good and so resilient. And at this point in the match, you just have to go back to what you know if you're Florida. We can pass, get a good read, stick a pass. Another long serve. Really, that's been the only chink in the, in the armor for Auburn in this first couple of sets. I agree. Right there, Lynn. It's the missed serves for Auburn. And it's been three after three timeouts by Coach Wise. That's amazing. Amazing. Good timing. Great dig. That dig provided by Barrett. And a nice little rollover shot from the pin. That is seeing the court and executing it nicely. And you love the end zone view where you can actually see the court, the whole system, and you saw that ball just drop beautifully in the hole for Florida. The end zone shots at a volleyball game are my very favorite. You can see all six players in motion 
And it adds a dimension to the game you don't see from the sideline. As much like how offensive coordinators like to sit up top for a football game instead of on the field, you can see everything. Big point right now for Auburn just to get the momentum back as they cruise right here in the second set. That one was touched by the defender at the net and sailed out of bounds. 22-17. Auburn closing in on a second set victory, but still work to be done. Thebolt almost kept it alive on the back row. It started with the pass. You saw McKissick stick a pass. Mm -hmm. Muff at the net, just an easy jump set to her setter. That's what Florida has got to go back to, their passing game. You stick a pass, you can run this offense. Muff has great court awareness, vision, feel of her teammates. You just got to give her the best opportunity possible. McKissick at the service line. Her sister played volleyball at Georgia Tech and UCLA. Auburn comes right back with a critical point. Strong play at the net. Bell is just so solid. You see that center right side connection. Barrett just knowing she can go low. Bella Bell just solid and given any type of seam to work the ball through. 23-18, Auburn in the second set after winning the first set. with Swanson. But there was a violation, I believe. That point goes to Florida. And we may have our first challenge of the day. Auburn wants to take another look at this. You know, right away, Bella Bella came down and was like, I didn't touch it. Swanson, I didn't see her do anything live, like as far as body language. So I'm, I'm interested to see if actually Swanson was the one that touched it because you saw a net violation, a net motion. So it's either the ball or a player. So this is our first challenge. You do see some reverberation by the net, but it's difficult to see Yeah, that looked like Auburn was in the net. And what you saw live, so Bella Bell turned to her coach and was like, it wasn't me. Swanson didn't have time to react and tell Coach Crouch that she did touch it. So Coach Crouch ran over and grabbed the green card because he saw Bella's Bell reaction saying, oh, she did not touch it. I'm going to use it. And Swanson looked like, oh, no, Coach, that was me. Do you like the use of replay? I do. I love it. You you know, as a player, it's good to have because important points, you do want to win back fair and square. So the replay indicates it's a Florida point. Here's a suggestion, though, that I've made to volleyball everywhere, and that is have the public address announcer let the folks know in the arena what's being challenged and why, because everybody's kind of in limbo until you finally get an announcement. True. You know, they do it in other sports, and you can do it here. And to me, it grows the game, and it educates the fans. All right, you're totally right. And I think it's been really nice to have volleyball on TV so much more often because volleyball is the number one team-played sport across all female athletes. So you're seeing females just take off in this sport. Educating young players is key to grow the game. If you're at home and have a local volleyball team, Take the kids, go see a match. There may not be an admission charge. If there is, it's going to be very reasonable. And you'll come back. Oh, 100%. Coach Kraus coming up with the yellow card, fighting for his team right now. But it is that environment that you're seeing that you want to give these young, these females that are young in the game, these role models that you're seeing on the court. What better role models to have strong student athletes that are going to college, getting a good degree as they fight hard and want to be good at a game of volleyball. So both teams are trying to regroup after a change of events. 23-19, Auburn leading Florida. Auburn won the first set. 
Crouch not happy at all. He's not a guy who normally ignites. Yeah, because... Oh, he's curious, so he lost the play. Whose ball is it? No replay, ball's over there, we fight on. And you see how he gives thumbs up? He'll fight hard until the point's over, and then he's already on to the next ball. Another net violation, apparently. There's the official reaching for the yellow card. And a red one as well. With a little double whammy there. And an infrequent ace by Florida. And here come the Gators. Don't ever, don't ever think you got it locked up against Florida. Florida will come right back in that little wall, that delay that gave them just enough energy to get back into their game and fight. Florida closing in. Gators have scored three straight points after Auburn had what looked like was going to be a comfortable five-point advantage. The freshman Martin will serve. Not only is she the leading freshman in the country in kills per set, she leads everybody in the SEC in kills per set. A near collision by Auburn players. Let's see if everybody can get up. Morton is grimacing in pain. She's holding her lower back. Anderson and Morton colliding. An all-out effort by Auburn, but the point to Florida. She says she's okay. This for the tie at 23. Here comes the Gators. There's a lot of chomp in this team. Sometimes throwing different energy on the court. You got Cannon ste stepping in for on this like center spot, running a DS, but she can also use it with hands. All Florida needed was a little energy. That challenge call did it for Florida just to light up their fire. And there's been a break or two along the way, and Florida has taken advantage of that. 23 each in the second set. Kennedy Martin serving again. That's a misfire on the right pin. And Florida, on a long run, has a chance to win the second set. A 6-0 scoring run by the Gators. And boy, they have put it together when they needed it. Emily Conan just stepping in with good energy, and then you see the front row getting a little mix-up with Gravely. Anderson. That ball was tipped as it went out. Mary Wise doesn't think so. That ball was tipped by a Gator and then sailed out of bounds. 24 no each, more drama, more drama. Maddie Gravely did not argue. The right front blocker going against Adam Anderson right away. She turned back and she's like, yep, guys, I touched it. As she heads out the court for Muff to get the serve receive set. Zoe Slaughter serving. 24 each, second set. Good sinking serve. Anderson. Wham! Point. Auburn. Mary Wise saying, who touched it? Who touched it? And she's going to challenge, and why not? Why would you not challenge this point? You have to. If Auburn goes up, you have to. So Coach Wise reaching right away, asking her players, did you touch it? Both players said no, reaches for her challenge card. 
If the point stands, Auburn will be serving for the second set. You know, live, I thought there was no touch, but actually live when we were watching, I thought it was in. So it's going to be interesting to see if they look at both things or just the touch at the net. I thought that ball might have got the back part of the strike, which would make it a legal strike. I'm with you. That, right. that ball may have been out, but it's certainly debatable. Yeah, I'm thinking that this might be a double challenge. If Coach Wise wins the no touch at the net, and Coach Cross might use his challenge card to call it in, or unless the referees see both at once saying, oh, I'm thinking this ball was in. What about you, Lynn? Perhaps it got a piece of the back of the stripe. Is it a winner or a skinner? Wow. <laughs> That's great camera work by our War Eagle production staff here. Calling the ball out. I wonder if this is the one of those moments you're like, if you could double challenge, but they looked at both things called no touch and called the ball out. Well, more discussion. But the point goes to Florida. This would be a major turn of events for the match if Florida can pull off the set. 25-24, what a critical call that was. It went Florida's way. This to even the match. Adams takes a deep breath, serves it long. Anderson rolls it over. It's blocked out of bounds. Florida has rallied from a late five-point deficit and has taken a 26-24 win over Auburn. This is where you have to go to. What is your bread and butter? It is trusting your pass, getting the defensive going, and then offense taking care of business. Total team effort to mix it up, come back in this match. Auburn, Florida, tied 1-1. And remind yourself, you are the underdog. You have nothing to lose, so go back to just your pass, block, and attack. Bell from the pin, right to the middle of the court. Well, both teams have drawn blows from the other team. Who's going to respond here in the third set? Well, right off the bat, you see Auburn just feeling back in their flow. They know that they let that second set slip. And you'll see early on if Florida can get their offense clicking with setter Muff. Auburn is a team that returns 12 letter winners from last year, losing none. The first year of volleyball for Auburn here on the Plains was 1967. The program was discontinued in 1981 and then reinstated five years later. Two straight points for Florida. You need all the energy. Great serve by McKissick just to create that overpass. Dixon all over it. So that's two swings. One was an overpass. One was a kill by Okamore in the middle. If you get some middle connection going, it's going to open up everything else. It speaks for itself, doesn't it? The Anderson. The <laughs> ball with that cover. Did you see that? She saved the play laying out and then Kasha Anderson doing what she does as a blocker. Martin drops her hand. You'll come up with the kill. 
two apiece. It's almost as though we're at 24-24 right now. The <laughs> tension in this building. There's been way too much of that for Auburn. Because you feel both of these teams right now are fairly even. You're like, okay, Auburn's trying to figure out their passing game just to run their offense. They trust their block. And then all around, you have to get Florida back in the game running muff with some connecting with their sets. Back and forth we go in the early going, three apiece. Here's Anderson. That was a great side out rotation because the last time, well, Muff was on that service line. Kennedy Martin is now shifted to the back. Ace for Anderson. For Auburn, it's just at this point, you have to believe, you know, that was a hard second set comeback by Florida, but you have to believe you can do this. All the training has got to pay off for a moment like this. Anderson coming into this match at 11 service aces against 16 errors. That's down, it's in for Auburn. Madison Cheer has been quiet on the outside. We know she is a very smart player, can hit an out-of-system ball. You give her a bump set, Shear can find that deep corner, almost kiss it right to that corner. How do you like that court level shot? Well done. Well, you just have to wonder how much Auburn can give away at the service line and still survive. You're right. You have to take care of it. But that was a really nice run by Anderson. Three balls, you'll take that miss serve as she's trying to put a lot of pressure on that service he passed. Five, four, Tigers. Florida gives it right back. I think that's three times we've seen service error, service error, service error, service error, service error, service error. I think there's been three times these teams have swapped them. And they're different. So you have Florida mm -hmm. with the nerves of Auburn's coming for them. And then Auburn is like, are we actually going to do this? So it's one of those certain nerves on the service line. You just got to come back to your game. Slaughter just made a heck of a play defensively. Florida responds with Fitzpatrick defensively. And that is Fitzpatrick tooling it off the defenders for the point. Fitzpatrick so athletic. You almost want to throw her high ball out of system, whatever, however you can get her the ball. She's able to work the hands off that tool shot when she's falling off the court. Fitzpatrick, a 5'11 senior from Ocala, Florida. Started at Penn State. In fact, she started all 16 matches in her first year at Penn State. Swing Auburn. Sheer again. The pass to get Jackie Barrett at the net to run this offense. You had Sheer with the matchup going over Muff. There was no other shot she was looking for but that line shot. That's like wind Sheer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she, she cuts it, doesn't she? Anderson from the back row with some defense. And then a the little dink shot. Pushed over. Great job, Maddie Shear mixing up her shot. You saw the last three, one deep corner. Then down the line, this one, I'm going to throw in the tip shot. Great pickup on the scramble. Anderson and then a trust set. Jackie Barrett for the put away. Tip kill by Shear. Pretty. Yep. And no doubt on the finish by Fitzpatrick. And she's starting to come alive here in this set. This is where practice pays off. When you get muffed in practice, you know that it's a one-two punch. You get the pass at the net. You trust Fitzpatrick. Whatever you put up, she's going to take care of. Love to see that put away kill. Kennedy Muff serving. That is sheer once again. And she scored from a difficult place on the court. And that is four. 
of the Auburn points right now by Maddie Shear. Four of the nine points, deep corner, line, tip kill, and then through the block. Shear showing up in the third set for Auburn. Paige Thebold serving. Excellent serve. Fitzpatrick. Great work defensively in the corner. Florida still coming at Auburn. And that is a perfect shot on the line. Really well done. McKissick picking up that ball in that cross corner. That's a defensive play. Great layout by Thebault just to keep it going. Wow, the kill. Look at this kill. How high? 6'6". Six, six. Kissing that line right on the side. You throw it up, you trust. Muff, that's what you've got to work with. Keep going to her. And you cannot defend that. 9-7 Auburn, third set. We are tied one set apiece. That one kind of rolled off the fingertips, almost fell for Auburn. There's going to be a chance here for the Tigers. Anderson. That is wide from right to left. We are looking at a player right now in Kennedy Martin. Yeah, she missed that one slightly long, but her timing, 6'6", six, six, extension and power, this might be a future Olympian that we're getting a privilege to watch in her freshman season at Florida. When you're that tall and you have that much control over your body and that much lift from the court, it gives you options that other players do not have. Auburn led throughout much of the second set. In fact, it had a five-point lead late before falling after a 7-1 run. Let's see if Auburn can hold on to this 11-7 advantage. Still plenty of points to be scored in the third set. Victoria misses. But it's even harder to go to greatness. And this Auburn team already has done something that it hadn't done in 19 previous sets, and that's win a set. Florida had rolled up 19 consecutive set victories before Auburn won the first set tonight. Yeah, impressive. And that Coach Wise knowing when to take these timeouts as well, because every time the timeout has happened, and she's four for five on timeouts and missed serves by an Auburn player after the timeout. She must be sprinkling a little magic dust somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you, you can't do anything about that. You just hope you're not bruised on the receiving end. And that was a great set by Muff giving the line shut because you saw Auburn's block re remembered the last two set attacks by Martin were going cross court. You saw her hit out of bounds. That one was an open line shot and Martin took it. We'll try to get an update on Kennedy Martin's kill totals today. Meanwhile, Auburn isn't worried about that as it tries to take set number two, leading by four now. Kennedy Martin, you have eight kills on 22 swings. You're getting the ball more often than your teammates. You got to keep going to stay in this match, though. She's only hitting 182. That's not a high number. There you are. Auburn puts it down. You saw there was no hesitation by Setter Muff to go back to Martin, but you don't can't give Akasha Anderson too many attempts. She's going to come up with the final kill. Beautiful bump set by Sarah Morton off the hands of the middle blocker. Point for Anderson. Auburn now by five. It held a five-point lead in the second set. Much later. Victoria, big swing from the middle. And again, heat and positioning and accuracy. All the yeses right there. It was a one-hand save as a cover by Libero McKissick to keep the rally going and put away kill. Victoria, really nice.
Victoria really has two first names. I love it. I love saying that name. Sophia is her first name. Victoria is her second name. And her sister played here at Auburn. So oh, I was know she great? She was not. amazing. Yeah. That's like a bowling ball hitting the head pin. The head pin has no chance. And you love to see how fast that set came. Yeah, when it, you have mm -hmm. a good look of the court on your cross court power swing, take full advantage of ripping it. Great job, Sophia Victoria. Auburn still by four though. Set number three. The action has been tremendous and furious and exciting and high paced from the time the ball was first put in play. That's a back row attack. Watch out, Ellie. Finally, Florida prevails. And you know, as I watch this freshman Kennedy Martin, her game is a lot more than just up front taking big swings. She's a nice defender. Yeah, picking up the defense was key. And then the finish by Dixon. Sometimes when you have a good look, you just have a good snap with hard topspin to a sharp shot, you'll find the kill. Trinity Adams serving. <laughs> Trinity Adams will go back to the service line after the kill by Fitzpatrick. Trinity Adams' mother was a volleyball player, and she also played tennis at Greensboro College and is a member of that school's Hall of Fame. I love how Coach Wise talks about the littles between Adams and McKissick, picking up that dig on the last one, really saving some plays. 15-13. Now, 16-13 with Madison Shear crossing up the defense. This is the advantage. So you have a shorter blocker and Muff. You're used to seeing a 6-2 Stucky. Madison Shear and Muff matchup. Shear's one of her best shot is, is a line shot. So if Jackie Bear can get her the ball, it's gonna go high line. Auburn by three, <laughs> Auburn by two. That is the leadership and take over. You got Anna Dixon taking ownership of this set. She's not on my watch, asking for a ball. She can do it on the right side. She is right side, helping her team with the middle in this season. Great leadership on the court we're seeing today. Dixon had 23 double figure kills last year. We'll get that point. Barrett at the service line. With a close swing like that, you always watch body language. There was no argument from any Gator knowing that there was a touch on that ball. I would love to see an Okamore kill. It's just pretty to watch. If Florida can stick a pass right now, that's where I'd be going. She wears number six in blue. <laughs> Auburn earned that point with back row defense. The scramble, the layout, the open hand, pullbacks on your dig. Great scramble by both teams. This is SEC Volleyball at its finest. Anderson picking that up right here with the full layout. Great job. Just a little to finish that little net touch to fall. Anderson is a physically imposing specimen, but she will play defense and she will get her share of floor burns. There's Okafor. You talked about her. Not that big swing, but she saw the open spot. Yeah, Okamore is just dominant. So it's the connection you'll see throughout the season now that Stucky is out for the season between Muff and Okamore developing the slide to that three attack, a distance set from the setter. It's a good option. 
Mady Okamore getting it done for Florida at a time it needed to be done for the Gators, 18-15. Now this was about the point in the last set where Auburn had some difficulty and Florida came on and scored seven of the last eight points. These are the better rotations for Florida. So you rotate Kennedy Martin up on the right side. You have a solid block and lineup and then Muffs, a strong server for Florida. It's Bell tooling it off the block for the point for Auburn. If I'm Jackie Baird and I'm looking across the net, I'm staying away from Martin. I'm working Bella Bell on my right side to finish out this set for two more rotations. 19-15, Tigers. Good sinking serve. That's Barrett. <laughs> Anderson blocked Florida with the point. That was one of those swings that's either going to be a block down or hit that ball is hitting long off those hands. Akasha Anderson was putting all of her power into that with a huge wall in front of her. Florida coming up with that point. 19-16 Auburn. Emily Kanan serving. A sophomore from Allen, Texas. Point Auburn. A big point for Auburn because then you rotate Swanson back to your front row. Look at the blocking lineup that you're seeing. Jackie Barrett's happy with her offense. Harmon back to serve for Auburn. Can well, Florida pass? Auburn got that point, of course, but Kanan had a remarkable four consecutive service aces against Stanford in the fifth set. Can you imagine that? Yeah, so confident in her game. You'd love to see Kinnan work it. It's still alive. How much can Barrett do? Oh. How much can Barrett do? But the point goes to Florida. Oh, great scramble. Guys, when you see a huge wall, you have a 6-4 Okamore in front of you. Get it, Barrett. One, two, go for one more. Why not? Great set by Harmon, but it's a wall, guys. 6-4, six, 6-6 six, six in front of you. You got to hit somewhere else because into their arms is going to go straight down. She was on the floor rejecting two of those three opportunities. Let's go! Here we go. Tension at the end of the third set. 21-17, Auburn. This is a moment where you have to believe you can if you're Auburn. You forget about the history. You remind yourself we're comfortable in our gym. We know what we can do. Look across the net, figure out the game, because in these last rotations, they like to go to Martin. Zoe Slaughter serving. Anderson rolls it over and hits it long. She did not get a fluid swing, and that set was a little bit off mark. And I don't blame her, right? Because you don't want to go into those arms. The last two times you've been blocked by Martin in front of you, so that was just a high hit. Fortunately for Akasha Anderson, guess who's Matt moved back to the service line? You got Martin out of her blocking lineup. She's a good server. Back row attack. Defended by Auburn. <laughs> Not that time, though. You love Dixon opening up to run that right side attack. She's playing middle. She got caught going behind, stays back. Right side ripping down the line. Great vision and power. You heard that point before you saw where it landed. <laughs> right. Can Auburn hold on here after taking a late lead in each of the last two sets? How about that from Anderson? A deft touch, and she crossed up the defense. Oh, that's a big point, a huge point. Beautifully done, Sophia Victoria trying to make the move to pick up the read. Anderson saying, I know you guys are sitting back on me on the block. Let me go ahead and drop it. Florida takes a timeout. This crowd. You love it that the volleyball is the number one played sport among females in their youth. It's only growing from here. Looking out at these role models, you love to see 
players evolved from the club game, now dominated in SEC play. Anderson serving. That was just a little long. Anderson had her back to the net. Tried to lay it short, but got a little much power into it. And that's a big point for Florida. Auburn 22, Florida 20. This is exactly the place where Auburn rallied, or rather Florida rallied in the second set to overcome a five-point deficit. And you see the double sub. Gravely getting a right side blocking sub as Muff steps out for a moment. Adams at the service line, twice a high school state champion at Radford in Virginia. Look at the touch by Shear. Madison Shear saw an open court and hit the bullseye. Jackie Barrett saving that set with her fingertips and then Shear. Saw she had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, not getting the right timing on the approach, dropped it as all defenders were sitting back on their heels. Keeley, how big is this point? Oh, gigantic. Bigger than a Gator. Wow. A.C. Fitzpatrick unleashes the heat. <laughs> hey, who's balling today? You look at on the court, the energy, the fight, Fitzpatrick has it. That's a comeback, that major point, getting that for her team. Anna Dixon serving now. You got to go sheer on this. 23-21 Auburn, third set. Sets are tied, one apiece. Barrett keeps it alive. This is Fitzpatrick. Little dump shot, Auburn's ready for it. The big swing. Back row attack, long. Here we go. 24-21. This place is beside itself. Can Jackie. Florida do it? You have Auburn one point away. You think about the second set, but if they can do this, you're moving on to the fourth. Jackie Barrett puts it in play. Fitzpatrick rejected. It is an Auburn point. Florida is claiming that ball was touched. We may have a challenge, but right now Auburn has won the third set. And we will have a review. Well, I guess it's only fitting on what could be the final point that we take another look at it. You have to look at it. This is the time to use your challenge card. Even if you have to go to the four sets right now, Coach Wise wants to cut any momentum from these Auburn side because they're cruising. So what you're looking at, the ball went over left front blocker Madison Shear. So you see and you're looking at any finger motion as she goes up. That ball clears her fingers by like a half inch. I'm, I'm going to keep this I, ball, I think, is going to stand. Keely, I think the shot we just saw was maybe the best. And it looked like that it did evade the six hands that were up in blocking position. <laughs> right. They expected. That's the respect that you have is where where is Kennedy Martin on the court? You saw the triple block from Auburn. You're right. They find her. They know exactly where number 18 is. I think it's going to be an Auburn point and an Auburn victory based on that replay sequence we saw. And if you remember in that second set, the using the challenge call was the lull that brought Florida back in the set. So even if Coach Wise is going to lose this right now and it stays with Auburn, she's just trying to cut any type of momentum to grab it back on her side to light a fire on her team saying, guys, let's just play our game. Well, we still do not have an official rendering. It's going to come right now. Oh, I'm they have overruled. They have overruled. <laughs> And that ball was ruled as a touch by the defensive team, Auburn. Well, 
24-22. Florida serving. Fitzpatrick. Yes, well done. Here come the Gators. Fitzpatrick knows her shot. She has 10 kills right now, leading her team with the highest hitting percentage as well, hitting 435. Fitzpatrick found her court. I'm feeding her. Fitzpatrick with 10 kills, and they've come in the last two sets primarily. Martin with nine. Just a couple of minutes ago, it appeared that Auburn had that second set victory to take a two sets to one lead. But there was an overrule on the, on the replay, and now it's Florida serving for a 24 tie. If I'm Jackie Barrett, I'm getting Bella Bell the ball. Set point. That missed by Bell. 24 apiece. Oh, Auburn has been <laughs> on the cusp twice. Still with a chance here in the third set. I'd still go back to Bella Bell. That was an open net swing. She wasn't able to connect on that snap. Yep. There it is. She rings the bell. 25, 24. Auburn by one, needing one more to win the elongated third set. Fans are feeling it. You look across your net. You got Fitzpatrick's been lighting it up. I'm Setter Muff, I'm going Fitzpatrick. Sheer serves. Auburn wins. Auburn wins set number three. Set number four on what could be an historic night in the history of Auburn volleyball. Auburn serving first. Auburn collects the first point. You can see where Muff is confident going back to the right side. First play out of the gate. Her timing with the middle not so much there right now. You love to see Okamore get another set because I think Florida will need their middles to pull off this match. Paige Thebault is serving. One apiece. Every point is critical, every decision. Two beautiful passes at the net. The second one, Martin able to connect with that set. But if Florida can pass, you've got to serve really tough. And I like the serving game right now with Auburn. That's long. That's long. Two to one Auburn. Set number four. Can the Tigers finish what would be an eye-opening upset? At this point in the match, if you're Auburn, you just have to remind yourself, we have nothing to lose. We're still the underdogs, even though we're up 2-0. All the pressure is on the Florida side. Swanson with the block initially. But Florida continues to keep it alive to a piece. You're looking at Victoria on the outside, looking loose. Even though she hit that one long, she thought she connected. And then coming up just with a heads up play at the net. Here's the fantastic freshman at the service line, Kennedy Martin. What a bright future she has. That Swanson tools it off the blocker. That's a really good sign for Auburn. If you can get Swanson going, she only has one kill so far in the match. That will hold Dixon, the middle for Florida, just enough to create a seam for your pin attack. Great job, Jackie Barrett. Auburn by one. Yep. Now we're even. Just too much heat from Victoria. 
that's one of those moments where you take a note from Fitzpatrick where she's getting kills. When Victoria takes her time off on the bench sideline, you recognize where the court is open. That part of the court for Auburn's defense, they're giving it to you. And right there, Victoria coming up with that hard cut shot. Trinity Adams serving. She was a heck of a softball player in high school as well as starring in volleyball. Anderson goes way up, takes a free swing and rips it home. And right away after Anderson swings, she comes up, points at Thebalt, way to stick that pass. You know the passing game starts your offense. Way to give your passer credit, Anderson. Auburn by one. Back row attack, and that's down. She can do it from anywhere, can't she? That was just a trust scramble, knowing that Martin was going to be there on the back row attack. Running forward, great job Muff just delivering, and that's the connection you're used to seeing Martin do in the back row. She's got to leave her feet before she gets to that stripe. She cannot strike it after crossing that stripe, and she her timing was perfect. It's, it's so nice, even with the timing, the tempo of the set. A miss serve hurts in that moment because I felt the momentum shift for Florida. Sarah Morton in the libero jersey. Wow. Great work at the net. Harmon was there to reject the first one. Just when you thought Muff made an amazing cover play to create that up and scramble, just hitting into that, that's unfortunate. But right now, you can feel Auburn believes that they can win. The momentum is definitely on this orange side. By two right now are the Tigers in the fourth set. Yep. That's been a productive spot for Florida, hasn't it? They, exactly right. So you saw Victoria take the inside cut because Five of the kills from Fitzpatrick has been on the inside cut shot, recognizing the Libro Morton is shifting to the corner to defend. Anderson misses. Auburn thought she had it. And it'll be Muff serving again. You know what Muff's comfort meal is? What do you got? Cheese curds. Interesting. Yeah. Nice smart swing. Fitzpatrick so solid. She worked the inside cut shot. When she has hands in front of her going high off the hands, you'd be like, hey, I'll give you some cheese curds after the match. Don't <laughs> make that, that my post-game meal, okay? Yeah. <laughs> cheese curds, that's her comfort food. I'm not sure I would even recognize a cheese curd. You know, I'm from Michigan. I had an aunt and uncle from Wisconsin. They would bring it over for Thanksgiving. <laughs> but you'll be like, thank you for that on the slam tip. Well, Thanksgiving in Auburn Arena, Neville Arena right now with that slam tip by Jackie Barrett. We haven't seen this all match. It's a great time to use it. Going right through that blocker down, not expecting that slam tip. And you nailed it when you said the right time to use it. That's a great sinking serve. <laughs> and an even better smash from the middle. All the yeses right there. Kennedy Martin is 6'6", six, six, can hit at those extreme angles, and she's only going to get better. Yeah, freshman, guys, that's what you're looking at right now. She's only got 11, going to improve. She's got 11 kills. That's one behind Fitzpatrick, who really came alive in the second and third sets. Emily Canan serving. There you go. Florida too good at the net. You can see Florida believing the offense under Muff has improved. The timing, that's what we thought we would see throughout the match. Just getting that confidence going match time with your setter and hitters. If you're a volleyball fan watching this at home or on your mobile devices, 
call a friend. Tell them what's in progress. <laughs> right. Tell them to tune in this fourth set, perhaps a fifth set. Tell them something special is happening on the plains tonight. Tell them Auburn and Florida are going at each other like heavyweights and will not yield. Tell them to do them a favor and let them watch the remainder of this. It could be super special. You know, if the Florida block continues, I think Auburn will be calling a friend to be like, hey, what do I do now on this shot? You got to mix it up and get Bella Bell going on the right side with a little snap topspin to drop it in the court as she flat hand that ball long. Not quite enough snap on that swing by Bell. She had an open court. She missed it. Command serving again. And she pumps it into the net. Auburn will gladly take that. For Auburn right now, these are good rotations. You have Thebald back in the offense. She's been doing a great job defensively. Auburn in a three-hitter rotation, you only have two more that you get to see Martin. Ooh. That one hurts just a little bit because when you go up by four, that just seems a lot further away than like a two-point lead. <laughs> How many service errors is that? You know, unfortunately, you're looking at 13 service errors for Florida right now and 15 for Auburn. That is a high number for both teams. I think I'm bad luck. <laughs> I got the school record the first tournament. Here comes Florida. It's set number four. Florida cannot go back to Gainesville as a winner if it doesn't win this set. This is the biggest lead for Florida tonight. 13-8, Gators, fourth set. This match. That brings us to a 13-8 Florida advantage in the fourth set. Trying to even it at two. Auburn got a break, and it will take it. If you're Auburn out of a timeout, you go back to what you know you can do. You can pass. Your passing game has actually looked really good today. And then you pass at the net, you run your middle way, go back to Bella Bell. It's been automatic. Let's check Bell's kill numbers here in a moment. That's 11. Anderson, another chance for Auburn. Wow. Bell was there for the block, and so was Swanson, but it glanced off those pairs of hands and went out of bounds, Point Florida. Victoria on the outsides improved her game, finally in the set for Florida, just coming through, big inside cut kill, off the hands, just stepping up her energy as well, getting the rhythm. Nice job. You know, if Florida gets this point, it'll give them a six-point lead, and that will be the biggest lead for Florida in this particular match, but they don't get it there. Talking to both coaches, they know any given day an SEC team can win. So every day will be a battle as you head into conference play. Coach Wise really impressed with how SEC has evolved in her long career, 32nd year. Coach Crouch adding him to the lineup as a solid coach, only going to prove, improve from here. A violation in the net, and Auburn will collect the point. You know, you talk about Florida's dominance over many years, Auburn's rising program. What about when Texas and Oklahoma come into the mix? Yeah, just amazing. With Texas winning a national championship, you're bringing that in. We have Florida that's always in the top. Kentucky winning an SEC championship. I believe in years to come, the SEC might own volleyball. In this game, okay, we got to do this, this, and this, and trusting what their players can do. You'd love to see it. Zoe Slaughter, who stands 5'7", as a sophomore serving. 
Auburn was not able to take advantage of that joust. And that is in, ruled in. Now the Auburn bench got a really good look at that. It was like a floater, almost like a serve that just dropped in at the last second. Coach Crouch looking at his bench, half are calling him, half are calling out. He decides not to use his challenge call. 15-11, Florida. After the point on the back stripe. It's Auburn's point. A net violation against Florida. And no carping from the Gators. Anderson will serve. Swanson getting an offensive set, opening up, swing on the right side. That's right. Breathe it out, Anderson. We know you can serve tough. That is long, no doubt about it. The question we'll watch for right now, Lynn, is if Auburn can create a run right now. Because if they let Florida slip a little too far, like in the 18 range, create too much separation, Florida is going to be running to the end line. But right now is the time to make a run if you're Auburn. Another very good sinking serve with some RPMs on it. Off the blocker, point, Florida. For well done. For me, A.C. Fitzpatrick wins player of the game right now. She has 12 swings, zero errors, excuse me, 13 kills, zero errors, hitting 419. As a setter, you don't really know where your stats are concerning your teammates, but you feel where you're getting kills. So right now, if I'm setter Muff, I'm like, I'm getting kills by Fitzpatrick. I got to keep giving her the ball. No errors on her swings tonight. That's remarkable. A 419 hitting percentage. That was a gift to Florida, but it refused to take it. Okamore wants that one back and one previously. Just when she thought a block was going to turn and she would have blocker fingers to redirect that overpass. Just not a heads up, just getting a little bit, expecting fingertips to be there as Swanson went up on that block. Once again, it was the serve that set it up. A hundred percent, Jack Morton with the serve, and then when your center, Jackie Barrett, takes a rip, that creates momentum not only on your team, but for all of Neville Arena. But what a great serve to give Barrett that opportunity. This for the tie at 16. Oh, that's a mistake by Morton. Saved by, Flor by Auburn. On we go. Shear going to try to sneak it over. Took the setter out. <laughs> Morton just couldn't handle that. Nobody could. Oh, Fitzpatrick, what? What? The off out of system, in system, it doesn't matter. Fitzpatrick, you can feel her competitive energy coming out of that blue uniform. Get it. No errors. 14 kills. 438 hitting percentage for Fitzpatrick. Here comes Florida. Auburn had a chance to tie. Florida now has a three-point lead. Fitzpatrick, you keep high-fiving your teammates, doing it on the offense around and coming up with that solo block. You have to be contagious with your energy if you are a leader, and you're seeing that with Fitzpatrick. Well, indeed, you almost that first set. I think it was the second set where she made the change. She started to get out of her nerves a little bit. A lot of times when you start sweating and you just remind yourself, I can play this game, then your hands start to get looser. That sailed long. Good idea. You love to see Auburn trying to get Harmon back involved. You saw the set to middle Swanson early on. Auburn knows if you go five with Florida, you need all hitters a go. So Jackie Barrett trying to mix up the offense. That serve is way long. 
And it's one of those moments where you want to go dun dun dun. You got Bella Bell coming back to the front row. She's been your blocker, the consistent attacker. Pre it presents a little more havoc in front of Fitzgerald on her last rotation. Barrett will put it in play. Wow. That was Anderson who kept it alive. But it's Florida that comes up with the point, and Florida is the first to 20. So you're trying to avoid the block, and I'm not mad at her. I'm looking at a 6-6-6-4 blocker in front of me as well. You're slightly off the net. Watch how sharp she's trying to hit that ball line, just missing her contact. Florida by four, 20 to 16. The Gators hoping to push this one to a fifth set. It's Florida right now. Lynn, the difference between the first two sets and what we're seeing now is the outside attacking efficiency for Florida. Both between Victoria and Fitzpatrick have stepped up their game, and that's what has been needed for Florida just to get some offense out there. That one sinks into the court, an ace. Auburn made the choice to let it fly. And it dipped to the stripe at the last moment. That was a great serve, right drop shot. To beat a Florida team, you're going to need endurance, focus and endurance the whole way through. That's well done. Kind of a little push shot deep to an open court. And Victoria knew exactly what she was doing. But the scramble plays, you get Florida enough opportunities. They're going to find a way to put that ball in the court. You love to see Victoria mixing up her shots, making the defense for Auburn just guess where to go. Florida is just two points away from sending this to a fifth set, but that service error does not help things. It's up to Auburn to make a run like Florida did in the second set. Trailing 23-17. Not much room for error, is there, Keeley? Yeah, looking across the net, you're standing in front of Martin. She hasn't gotten a kill in a while. It's a good time to go to her. Feebolt with that beautiful dig. Ooh. That one misses from left to right. 23-18. The play right now for Auburn is so much more than what we're seeing here in the fourth set. If you know you're, you might go five with, you need the momentum against Florida. Easier said than done. <laughs> That's Martin. That is Martin. Great set delivery by Kennedy Muff. Look how low this set comes out of her hands. The block setting up, but drifting out, not able to get a good setup. Martin takes complete advantage going inside cut shot. This for the win in the fourth set. Not yet. Not yet. Harmon right there. Jackie Barrett making a one-hand save at the t same time the blocker touched the ball. I was like, are they going to call that back row attack? But giving that ball to Auburn for Harmon with the slam tip. And she will serve. Auburn needs to score five straight points to extend this match or extend this set. And there is the winner for Florida. Florida cruising with a full team effort on the comeback. It's going to take full Neville Arena to get behind these Auburn Tigers on the court just to get a little more energy going because the energy and confidence is back on the Florida side. This is a 15-point set. You must win by two. Auburn serves first. Thebalt at the line.
First point, Martin, Florida. You can see the talk and communication by setter, D, setter Kennedy Muff just confidently going back, knowing where she was going to get a kill. You love to see a setter settle in because I felt her nerves in the first two sets. Now you feel the confidence that she can play this game high level. McKissick out of Windermere, Florida, serving for the Gators. Florida strong at the net, rising to block it for a point. This is the block by Florida. That was a beautiful setup. Watch the setup by Sophia Victoria and then the awesome close by Dixon, taking it almost solo with the drop and recognizing Bella Bell is going cross court. Florida looking to score the first three points in the fifth set. Anderson with that swing and it's deflected off the Florida defender. Point to Auburn. There's one thing about Auburn, if Anderson can play and step up her game, she can win a set by herself. We've seen her go off with eight kills in the, the fifth set. Anderson can do it. You got two more rotations, you gotta leave your presence. That was number 14 for Anderson in the kill category. Anderson can't quite get there. That was a play that was out of sync for Auburn. Bell Zimmerman stepping in for a nice serve. I know she wants that bump set back, but any point that you get on your side, you are happy right now. Florida very relieved to pull off that point. Kennedy Martin. Off the defender, point Florida, and once again, a big swing by Sophia Victoria. Victoria, Fitzpatrick, in their groove, you can feel the pop out of Muff's hands. It's not hesitant. She's trusting that her outside hitters will be there, trusting the tempo. Great job. Four to one, Florida, in the fifth set. And a long, long serve. Auburn will be quite pleased to take that. And you saw the energy. Barrett, senior, this is your last time maybe on your home court if you don't come back for a fifth year. That's some pure want to, like, yes, you want, and you're fighting for every single point on your court. Auburn Zoe Slaughter. One, two, three step run up. Great Good serve. sinking serve, indeed it was. Anderson. That's the matchup. That set was not perfect. She had to adjust and made a really good adjustment on that set to make a successful swing. Anderson was waiting for that ball to reach the line because the shot she wanted was over Muff, the shorter blocker. If Auburn gets a transition play, that's where you have to feed because that's your best matchup right now. This for the tie at four. Auburn indeed comes back. And we are locked up after eight points in the fifth set. And you look at the transition game. So, okay, if you get a set at the net, you've been going outside to hot hand Victoria. So if I'm Swanson, I'm going to put one-on-one -on -one with Anderson on Dixon and just go ahead and block. Yep. That was sneaky. You'll take a no-look kill any way you get it. Beautiful set by McKissick. A little slam tip is back to the sideline as your defender was crashing into the court. Sophia does it again. No good pick up. Oh. Anderson, wham! That was a fireball. If that doesn't get the fans on the feet, I don't know what will. Akasha Anderson changing her shot, said, yep, I know my block shifting to the line on my last shots. Let me cut this one inside. 
take the power, putting it straight down to Neville Arena. Five apiece. Anderson takes a deep breath, runs up, hits the floater, and it's in the tape and falls back on the Auburn side. That's hard to do, to know your power. You just crack the ball, inside cut shot, and then you're trying to get your flat hand power for a float. Wow, Acosta Anderson, but fun playing right now. Florida putting in a blocking sub just to present a bigger block in front of Madison Shear on the outside. A one point lead for the Gators in the fifth set. I believe that previous attack by Anderson got the whole Neville Arena and put belief on this Auburn side. Madison Shear going high off the hands on that last, but you can see the energy has shifted. The faces for this Auburn team, they actually believe that they can pull this off. Many in this arena are on their feet. Six apiece. What a battle. Ooh. What a battle. Week one, game one in SEC competition. Two nationally ranked teams. Two of the four teams in the SEC with only one pre-conference defeat. And we are going as far as we can go with this tonight. Incredible. That's been waiting all match long. Jackie Barrett coming up with the major block. This is the first lead for Auburn. But one of those damaging service errors again and that's been a big number for Auburn and Florida has nearly matched it and Lynn the only thing that wipes this clean right now is a quick side out you'll you'll let go of that miss serve if you can turn around with a good pass to attack Whew, there you go back to back and that's at least the fourth time <laughs> we've seen one team with a service error followed by another it's a combination of nerves and energy behind it so you know Auburn, they believe that they can do it, but the nerves on their side, like, can we actually do it? Florida, trying to get their momentum on their side. Fifth set. Auburn serving. Big serve. That was athletic save. How about that from McKissick? That one came up short from distance. Ooh. But was there a net violation? <laughs> so this is going to be tough. Yes, there was a net violation. We'll see that in the replay. But Anderson tipped the ball on her side of the net. Not sure how this is called. I've never really been in this experience with the replay when the ball did not clear the net. It didn't come close to clearing the net. But can you say, oh, because we saw a little net violation at the end? Not sure you can say that. It's like one of those things in football where there's pass interference, but the ball's not catchable. So do you just let it play on? Not sure. You know, it's fitting that we have something weird at the conclusion of this fantastic match. <laughs> it is a net violation. It is a net violation. So that wins out. If the ball doesn't clear the net and there is a net violation, even if it's a back row attack, it's going to get called. Auburn by two. Barrett misses. How many is that now? 18 service <laughs> errors in a nerve jangling game for both teams. You gotta see if you can get any right side production right now as your best blocking situation. Wow, Off the Madison defender. Shear going high off the hands. That 
is how you do it when the ball's slightly off. Jackie Barrett shooting it out there, and Shear says, I'm not going to go low into the arms. I know I'm going to get it blocked if I go low. Let me go high into the hands, catching the six stick top of her fingertips. Shear coming will up. Heat, and that was a winning combination. Wow. T-ball serving. Timeout, though, first. Florida takes it. Now let's reset. They could win today. Feebolt serving, it hangs <laughs> on the tape and falls back. 10-9, Auburn by one. Florida now serving for the tie. That's a hard one to take if you're Auburn, but right now if you can change it, one for one, it's a quick side out, you shake it off. McKissick so solid on the service game. Her dad was a football player at the Citadel, her uncle. Also played, and there's another mistake. Oh my, oh my. Auburn 11, Florida 9. Her uncle played football at Brown. McKissick's uncle did. None of that matters now as we close in on 15. Bell Zimmerman. The jump serve. It's a good one. Wow. That's Barrett. That's a point for Auburn off the blocker. Jackie Barrett making the dig. That saved the rally. Watch her sit back knowing that Martin was going cross court. And then high off the hands. Zimmerman going nice shot. When you touch the top tip of those hands, it's going to stay along. Auburn's fans loving this today. And when you look back at that dig by Barrett, it was one thing to get to it. It was another thing to hold your position right. and control the ball off the hands. She did it perfectly. Yeah, beautiful read, absorbing that power. Martin brought the heat, and Jackie Barrett says, I'm stepping in on this one. Can history be made tonight? In some respects, it already has been. Slugging it out. Zimmerman serving. Victoria with the big swing. You got Victoria going line shot. Her body looked like she was going cross court and then turning that ball line last second, causing that little ricochet. She's in double figures now with kills and hers have come at very critical times. You're right. Auburn 12, Florida 10, fifth set. Victoria again. And Victoria was able to find the floor in front of T-Ball. The outside attacking game between Victoria and Fitzpatrick has brought, brought Florida back in this match. Just changing up her shots, hitting the ball line, tipping that line. That is how you do it with some leadership in your game, senior. Kennedy Martin serving. This is Victoria from some distance. Was it down? No. Anderson with a big swing, missed it. A come on, who can make a smart play? Who can recognize an opportunity and have the confidence to make it? And this is a drill in practice right now we're seeing. So there, it's a game to three, okay? You play 22-22, the coaches will set the score in practice and then go play, and then there's always like a consequence for the losing side. So these teams are ready for this moment. Who can pull it off? It's all about execution. Kennedy Martin again. <laughs> oh, that one hurts. She missed it long. What a critical point for Auburn on the mistake by the freshman. 
Martin, you've been balling. You have 14 kills, five blocks. If you shake that one off, you're still in this offensive game. But for Auburn, you still have Anderson in your front row. Jackie Barrett, you got to feed her. Zoe Slaughter will serve. This is a huge point for both teams. Good Victoria read. tried to shove it down. Anderson rolls it. Victoria keeps it alive. Oh, you got to play it. Martin from the back row somehow was able to get that one to roll over. It is all about the bounce back in volleyball. The ball comes right away, so if you miss a serve, you can come back and make it up on the next play. You saw that with Martin out of middle back. Comes in with a nice tip shot to drop. 13 each. Trinity Adams serving. Barrett sets Anderson, and she does not snap it down. That sails long. Florida has a chance to win it. Florida is one point away. If you have open seam, snap it to the corner, but if you have hands, go hit hard high into the hands to get the tool long. A serve on the line right now by Adams. This is going to be key. This has to clear. Anderson tries another tip shot. Now a back row attack. Blocked for the point. Martin is rejected. Jackie Barrett in her senior year. Stepping in wants every point. Watch the center step in on the help. Great job cutting off that ball, knowing Martin was going to get the back row swing. Feeling it today is Jackie Barrett. 14 each after an exhilarating point for Auburn. So if I'm setter Muff, the stats, I know she's not looking at it, but the hot hand is Fitzpatrick, but you can't sleep on Martin in the back row. Yep. Wow. Wow. Fitzpatrick again. All of her swings have been very impressive tonight. Almost errorless. Pure gamer, Fitzpatrick, so fun to watch. Pure heart on your team, way to be contagious. That's leadership. Dixon serving. It's a point for Auburn. It's Madison Shear. If you're Auburn right now, you're living and dying on Sheeran Anderson's offensive production. Jackie Barrett has one more rotation before Bella Bell gets to the front row. Timeout, Coach Wise is calling because she's got to stay in this match. My goodness. Could the SEC debut be any more exhilarating <laughs> and exciting and challenging and enthusiastic? I think we've got a challenge here. There was a net violation early on, but I actually thought it was caused by the Florida side. So interesting to see what's going to go back and forth in this video. Now the point was awarded to Auburn on the swing by Shear. All right, let's check out this whole entire point to see what could be called. Yeah, I'm thinking on the first contact, I saw a couple net, um, excuse, excuse me, like net motion, but I thought it was Florida blocking that ball. But remember in the second set, Coach Wise used her challenge card, didn't win, but got the momentum back. So it's a good time to use it. Well, you don't want to take it home to Gainesville. <laughs> yeah. If you've got one and you feel like you've got any kind of a, an opportunity, use it. I don't see any infraction there. 
I'm thinking it's just a way to get momentum back. That was a good scramble. The first, I saw net motion on the first attack, but I thought it was off from the block. Now the net is slightly reverberating there, but did it come from the Florida defender? It's Boy, a good what, time what, to regroup. What a critical decision this is. I mean, this could be a match-determining decision. Huge right now. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yep. The net violation early on from the block, which caused the net motion. Coach Wise identified that their net did move and was hoping it was a challenge card used for an Auburn player. If that call would have been reversed, Florida would be going home a winner. But it's 15 apiece now as the drama continues. And you know this ball is going out to Fitzpatrick. Morton serving. Oh, oh. it's long. It is long. That knuckleball sailed long. You go right now with Anderson in the back row. The server's error is definitely hitting, but you got to get offense. You got Martin in the front row. That's a hard ball to get through. Auburn needs this point. Wow. It's not going to get it. Florida with the freshman taking the final swing. Kennedy Martin comes from behind and beats the Auburn Tigers in a heartbreaking loss for the home team and an exhilarating victory. I'm 
भरिया किया से